In today's Vet Girl video, we're going to demonstrate how to do a thoracocentesis. Whenever you see a dyspneic cat, we always want to have the cat in flow by. We want you to be able to feel comfortable performing a thoracocentesis because it's a life-saving diagnostic and therapeutic procedure. If you have an ultrasound, we want you to be able to do a fast ultrasound to look for that presence of that large black hypoechoic pocket. Here, you can see we're using the fast ultrasound to identify the best location. You want to use sterile technique, a three-way stopcock set up with a butterfly catheter and syringe, and we typically want to go in the seventh to ninth intercostal space, ideally cranial to the rib to avoid the vessels and the nerves, and evacuating as much pleural effusion as we can to make the cat comfortable. Here on repeat fast, you can see there's still a significant amount of pleural effusion. And here we're actually saving the pleural effusion because it was quite hemorrhagic in sterile 60 ml syringes in the vent that we need to auto transfuse it. On repeat fast ultrasound, we can see there's a dramatic improvement in the reduction of pleural effusion. And again, if you don't have a fast ultrasound, still go ahead and do a thoracocentesis. Again, can be life saving in that dyspneic cat. Most of the time, we don't actually sedate cats for this because they seem to tolerate it relatively well. Clinically, you can see that this cat is dramatically improved. It's breathing much more comfortably and is no longer breathing with a short, shallow breathing pattern. And with that, hopefully you feel comfortable performing a thoracocentesis.